What's up my friends and welcome back to your daily this of Fortnite here at the Happy Park channel and today we have for you guys today's daily news refresh. Now, if any of you little guys say I wear this shirt to every video, I will find you and I will give you V-Bucks. Now today is actually quite a special video as Max actually found out pretty much the first edition of Fortnite all the way back in 2014 and 2015. We also have for you guys some smaller topics so I do hope you guys end up enjoying this video and if you guys do for this groundbreaking story make sure you guys drop a like for the next 5 seconds and of course subscribe with those notifications on. Now hopping directly into our first Fortnite topic it's actually kind of a story time so First off, Lucas tweeted this out. Just as a reminder that the Minty Pickaxe has not been stated as exclusive at all, to my knowledge. It, is, it very well could come to the item shop at some point. And now I have for you guys a short little story. So, you guys most often know that Target right now has a promotion with the Fortnite uh, Minty Codes, where if you guys buy something, you guys get Minty Codes. Now, the problem with Fortnite and Target is most states right now don't have access to these minty codes even though all the signs say this in the background video so i've called around several parts of florida where i actually live and the entire state of florida does not have cards like i have ca i've called so many places son basically in my region around like 200 miles there's no minty cards i don't know why but a lot of targets are not receiving the actual minty card promotion and according to some target employees if you guys come back with a receipt, they will just give you guys minty codes. No matter how many receipts you guys have, it is one code per receipt. So, I actually noticed that Target sells stuff downwards of two to three dollars of Fortnite products. So theoretically, if you guys buy like fifty dollars worth, you guys can get like basically a whole stack of these cards for really about nothing, like fifty dollars for all these cards. And for all the resellers out there, that's good profit for you guys. But anyone who actually just needs it for their friends or Christmas gifts and stuff of that nature, it's even better for all of us. So the best way to get Minty codes, like always, is over at Target. Now the problem is they are very delayed and they're and they're currently not handing out cards just yet. However, if you do buy stuff ahead of time, which of course the cheap stuff sells out first, apparently you guys can go back when the cards are restocked and they will give you guys a Minty code. So just keep that in mind. And yes, it is very, very annoying, but hey, what can you guys do? Now, moving into our first real topic, it's actually coming directly from Max. So, you guys most definitely know, Max basically found out the first edition of Fortnite all the way back in 2014. And it was actually the original PvP map. So, first things up, we have for you guys a tweet coming directly from Max. We also have for you guys a lot of stuff regarding this actual, uh, basically, find in the background video. So, he tweeted this out. This is what Fortnite PvP, PvP looked like in 2014 slash 2015, and never, and never got released. It looks very underdeveloped. It seems to be captured the flag by the sounds played in the background of the clip. There's two teams, Team Unicorn and Team Dino. And of course we have for you guys the full gameplay clip. So here you guys go, Fortnite in 2014 slash 2015 as an unreleased PvP brand new map and uh, capture the flag game mode. Roll it. Your cornerstone is under attack. Enemy killed. You took him out. Ow, you got taken out. Enemy team has gained control of the storm. Okay, the storm is over. Storm control has returned to normal. Storm control returned to normal. Your team has lost control of the storm. Friendly down. Your team has gained control of the storm. Enemy flag captured. Enemy flag lost. Enemy flag taken. Flag captured. Flag lost. Flag returned. Flag taken. Your control point has been captured. Um, the enemy is taking our control point. Control point captured. All right. You are capturing the control point. Uh, control point contested. Your control point has been neutralized. Enemy killed. Oh, you took him out. Ooh, you, uh, he got taken out. Friendly down. <laughs> Die. Alright, absolutely just crazy stuff right there. Imagine if Fortnite always looked like that. Just absolutely just crazy. Now, Fortnite should definitely come out with a PvP arcade mode, where basically it's a smaller map where you guys can play Capture the Flag or like Hide and Go Seek and stuff of that nature. It'd be just absolutely so fun. So, definitely crazy stuff right there. Now, we also have for you guys some more information coming directly from Max. So, he also sent me this in the DMs. Here is some more information regarding the original PvP map. It's from 2014. Most of the stuff, if not all, has been removed from the files before the game was publicly released. 
The map was based on Capture the Flag. You can obviously tell that from the voice lines. There seems to be player callouts from when you get shot at. For example, when you're getting shot by the pumpkin launcher, the player can't scream, PUMPKIN! There is two teams, Team Dino and Team Unicorn. There is a lot of other models for PvP that wasn't included in the map. There also seems to be a proper first person mode, visible arms and gun. I would assume the mode was in very early development due to the lack of textures. Also, the assets for PvP labeled as prototype, backing up the point it is in early development. There is also a loading screen and mini map for the mode as well, which of course we have for you guys exclusively in the background video. So yeah guys, even more insane stuff. You guys can most definitely tell this is basically the first loading screen ever of Fortnite Battle Royale. So absolutely just crazy stuff. And honestly, that kind of looks like Kevin the Cube's color. So Kevin the Cube might have been invented or thought about all the way back in 2014. Pretty crazy stuff right there. And of course we have for you guys the full mini map of the unreleased map, which would actually be the first edition of Fortnite PvP. So absolutely just crazy stuff. This is before Fortnite became officially a battle royale game. It used to be a PvP game just for capture the flag and arcade type games. Absolutely just crazy and fantastic of a find. Now moving into our next Fortnite topic, we actually have for you guys a little thing coming directly from player support. So some of you guys have been asking player support about patch notes and apparently a lot of the player support is saying they have no idea when patch notes will be back or even if they'll ever be back. So Honestly guys, not quite sure what Epic Games is doing. We were supposed to have an update today, but as you guys most definitely know, they canceled it last minute last night, where they basically said, hi everyone, we are postponing the release of 11.11. .11. We'll keep you updated regarding when it's planned to be released again. And guys, it's the next day and no word. And apparently, I think they kind of sneakily added an update in because Fortnite over in Save the World actually just said this. And yes, it was supposed to be a Save the World update. So. Not quite sure if they actually just added this back without telling anybody, but I think they might have updated the game without using downtime. So not quite sure what they're doing. They're not being transparent at all. They're being very, very sneaky and not, yeah, just don't know what they're doing. They're way too comfortable and they need to start saying, hey, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this to the game. Here's the patch notes, here's the new updates, blah, 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 stuff of that nature because they've been very secretive lately. So very confusing stuff and hopefully... Uh, yeah, at some point they actually give us a little more stuff to actually work with here. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, this is actually coming directly from I believe Gillygag who actually tweeted this out. Epic Games realized their mistake and the outfit leaked yesterday in a featured island image has been removed. Hashtag Fortnite. The image and tweet has been deleted and replaced with the following. And you guys can most definitely tell from yesterday's video, they accidentally tweeted out uh, basically a leaked image of the Sergeant Green Clover male variant. So very funny stuff right there. They deleted it quite fast and replaced it with this image. So obviously they did not want us to see that. And now for our final Fortnite topic. One of my fans have been tweeting me this all day long and they basically said this. Don't let anyone be distracted by anything else besides this is top news right now. QXL are very amazing at what they do with art including this scenery. This is very huge for future upcoming Fortnite graphics that can now be even better. Alright, so it looks like the Epic Games team has picked up a new person with inside the community and apparently they're actually good enough to uh, hopefully upgrade the graphics sooner or later with inside the Fortnite uh, series basically. So we could actually be seeing an upgrade in graphics at some point. So definitely a great story right there as well. Now, as far as today's video goes, that's what we have for you guys as of right now. But like always, if you want to support your boy, make sure you guys use my creator code ALTSMARS. And of course, drop a like within the next 5 seconds. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos. And like always, stay happy and have a great day.